We've built a new compressor called the Glue in collaboration with our partner Cytomic. The Glue is an analog model device based on the bus compressor from a classic British mixing console. The Glue sounds great on everything, but it's particularly good on drum tracks or for gluing together or tightening up a whole mix. It has the standard compressor controls, envelope controls, threshold, and makeup gain, but with a few special additions not found on the original hardware. The attack time can be set as low as 0.01 milliseconds, which is much faster than the original, and which allows glue to be used as a limiter. There's a dry-wet control for parallel compression, allowing you to blend the compressed and uncompressed signals together. And there's a range control, which allows you to limit the amount of gain reduction without adjusting the threshold or ratio. So you can set the compressor to grab onto the signal at exactly the point that you like, but still dial down the amount of compression by using range. The soft button enables an analog style soft clipper, which limits the total output to minus 0.5 dB. When driven hard, this can add a nice analog saturation character. And finally, there's a sidechain section similar to that found on a lot of our other devices, including an external sidechain option and a sidechain EQ. We've completely reworked EQ8. Probably the biggest change is one that you can't see. All of the filters have been rebuilt, so they're a lot smoother and they have less noise and fewer artifacts as parameters change. It means it's now possible to create really smooth filter sweeps. We've also changed a lot in terms of the controls and the display. The interface now can show an output spectrum which can be toggled on and off with this Analyze button. And the output spectrum can be popped out of the device view, so you have a lot more room to work with both the filters and the visualization. In this expanded mode, you can also see all of the parameters for all eight filters at the same time down in the device view. In the display, you can now drag and enclose multiple filters to adjust them at the same time. A new adaptive Q mode increases the Q amount as you increase the amount of gain. This is based on the behavior of some classic analog EQs and results in a much more consistent output level. A new audition mode allows you to click on a single filter to hear only its effect on the output. This is great for quickly finding and isolating certain problematic frequencies. There are two more filter options, 48 dB low and high cut filters, which are great for rolling off lots of unnecessary high or low end. Finally, the scale parameter now has an increased range and goes from minus 200% to plus 200%. You can use this to find particularly problematic frequencies by boosting them into peaks and then quickly turning them into notches. We've done a full overhaul of Live's original compressor device. The display can now be switched between the classic transfer curve, a collapsed view that shows only the essential controls and meters, and a new gain reduction display that shows changes to the signal level over time. This view can be toggled between showing the amount of gain reduction and a superimposed input and output level. This view is really handy for fine-tuning your compression amounts. This line represents the threshold, and as you drag it down to meet the peaks in the audio, the upper line shows the changes in gain reduction. There's a new auto-release mode, which disables the manual release control and automatically adjusts the amount of release time based on the signal that you're processing. There's a new dry-wet control for parallel compression. This is really handy for blending in very overly compressed drum sounds, for example, with their original, more punchy counterparts. This allows me to add depth and weight brought on by compression while still retaining the transients in the original drum sound. There's an envelope shape toggle, which switches between the classic punchy linear mode and a smoother logarithmic mode. And finally, there's an expand mode, which switches the compressor from being a downward compressor to an upward expander. In this mode, as the input level increases, the output level also increases. Upward expansion can be used to add transients back to material that's been too heavily compressed. Live's gate shows the amount of gain reduction over time. This makes it really easy to dial in the gate threshold. Just drag this line 
until it crosses the input level, and then fine-tune it so that it responds to the levels in the ways that you need. The gain reduction meter at the right shows the amount of gain reduction that's happening. The display also makes it easy to adjust the gate's envelope controls, because you can really see how your changes affect the sound over time. We've also added a new parameter called return, which is the difference between the threshold level that opens the gate and the level that closes it. This is useful for avoiding a kind of distortion called chatter, which is caused by the gate opening and closing very quickly when the level is right around the threshold. With return set to 3 dB, for example, once the gate is open, it stays open until the level drops by 3 dB. This can result in a much smoother gate behavior.